All right, everybody loves a good cheat meal every now and again, and cheat meals are important to your success. However, if you are starting on a journey where eating healthy and having good portion control and eating a well-balanced, rounded diet is something that's new to you, I do not recommend a cheat meal yet. Get through these 21 days first because Having a cheat meal too early in your workout journey and your fitness journey and your health journey can derail you rather than spiking your metabolism and helping you out. So research has proven that a good cheat meal that's full of carbs and fat will help to rev your metabolism. I personally believe and what I've noticed with my clients continually is having that cheat meal too early in your journey is a recipe for disaster because for now we're on day 16. So for days for 16 days you've been diligently working, you've been using your containers, you've been eating your correct portions, you've been doing your workouts. And I think that a cheat meal at this stage in the game is going to mess with your mind too much right now. You have to actually, you know, you might still be struggling to ward off those cravings and not eat an entire pizza and stay away from the sweets. You might still be struggling with that. So hold off for 21 full days before you have a cheat meal. Um, I promise you that you will feel more empowered. You will feel better and when you do have a cheat meal, don't make it a cheat day. Make it one meal. And don't go crazy because if you've just spent 21 days getting into the routine of eating clean and eating healthy, when you introduce those old bad foods into your system, I guarantee you, you're not gonna like how you feel. I know personally for me, when I have a cheat meal after I have been so strict for so long, it's almost like a like a torture meal. Um, I have stomach cramps. I have to go to the bathroom. My skin breaks out. Um, I don't feel good. I'm gassy and I smell. Um, so really think about your cheat meal. If there's something that you have been craving since you started this, by all means, go have some after these 21 days are over, but stick it out for 21 days. You will be so thankful you did, and then you can have a well-planned treat meal. Also, on a treat meal day, make sure that you're doing a workout. Don't put a treat meal on the same day as your rest day because then you're just going to feel like a lardy piece of shit. Um, make sure that you do a lot of cardio that morning before you have a treat meal. It's going to make you feel better. Your body's going to burn it off faster. Also, don't weigh yourself the day after you have a treat meal. That's just stupid. Don't do that because then you're going to feel like garbage. You're going to have stomach upsets and then you're going to be like, oh my God, I gained, I weighed two more pounds more than I did before I ate this treat meal and this was such a bad idea. Don't beat yourself up over it. So my tips for a treat meal, make it one meal. Don't make it a full day. Do it after you finished 21 days of a complete regimen. Do cardio on the day that you're going to eat a treat meal. And don't weigh yourself the day after. And lastly, don't obsess about it. Don't make it your life. Don't worry about, oh my God, I had a treat meal and I had four glasses of wine and I should have only had two. Don't beat yourself up over it. You have a treat meal, you have it, you enjoy it, and you move on. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.